my name is Bryony. If you're new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. But for now, let's jump straight into the video. So for today's video, I was, I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to film this. Number one, I've had a break um, since before Christmas until this week. Number two, I was thinking because I've had that break, you know, it's got a bit later in the year. Uh, maybe people don't want to watch it. Also, you know, the, the year we've had, there are lots of people struggling, people out of work, people on furlough, you know, there's lots of people struggling to sort of make ends meet and I didn't want to sort of parade my Christmas presents in front of people, if that makes sense. But I did ask on Instagram because it's something that I did last year and I love watching these personally. Some people have done them this year, some people have refrained. The ones that have done them, I've watched them and I've enjoyed them because I am so nosy. I love seeing what people get for Christmas, what they get for their birthdays, what they bought for the corner shop last, like yesterday, what's come in the mail um, on my Patreon group. I get that many packages and I'm always putting on what I've what I've sort of received and then my Patreons will put on oh I've received a package from X, Y and Z and then they show me the pictures of what they've received and I absolutely love it. I love seeing people with new makeup buys, um, I love sharing mine just because I get very excited, not for a bragging reason, just because I find stuff excites me and I know that's really really probably really sad I'm a very stuff person um my husband's the opposite he's not really into possessions he doesn't really have any to be fair other than you know the clothes on his back and things um but I'm really into stuff it is hard work though when you're into stuff and you get loads of stuff <laughs> You get so cluttered and everything else and then it is hard work. So I can see his point of view as well. But anyway, I am rambling. I am digressing. Let's just dive into what I got for Christmas. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you about for obvious reasons when I tell you what it is, I'm going to put pictures on the screen here just because they are in downstairs and they are working now. So the first one is a kettle for my mum and the second one, it's the matching toaster from my mum. Um, I asked for these for Christmas because I really wanted some new ones. Um, my toaster, I think, was 12 years old and it was getting to the point where it was, I was thinking it might be dangerous because the wire was starting to corrode. Not the actual wire, the plastic. It was starting to sort of snap and sort of... Um, I don't, know, I don't know what you'd call it. It was sort of cracking and things like that. It was degrading, essentially. So I was thinking, mm, it's getting a bit dangerous. I kind of want something pretty. So there we go. That is what I ordered. I also had a two-slice toaster before, and I went for four because I'm a pig, and I like three slices of toast. And it used to annoy me that I'd have to do one of the toasts separate. Now I can put three in at the same time and it's amazing, honestly. I have literally had toast. I only I only got them on Christmas Day. I have literally had toast, I think five times since then. <laughs> and it even cooks the toast better. So yeah, I absolutely made up with that. The next one, again, I'm going to pop on the screen here. This is like my main present from my sister. Again, because of the weight, I think it might be like 10 kilos. I don't even know. It's so heavy. I'm popping it on the screen. So it's a, um, I think they're called weighted blankets. But it is so gorgeous and soft and snuggly. Well, it's not soft, but it is snuggly and it's warm. Um, I haven't actually took it to bed yet I just have it on the couch but I like to sort of lay on the couch with my legs up and then have it over me and it just makes me feel so nice and secure they are designed for anxiety whether or not it's helped me so far I'm not sure because I haven't really sort of used it to its full potential but we're working up there um I'm just worried about it being a bit hot in bed to be honest with you but it is nice for sort of lounging around the house and I really really like it so yes thank you so much to both of you I also have received um some money so I get money from um my husband's parents and his grandparents and my grandma so coming up not yet but <laughs> I'm not going to show you in this video but coming up 
later in the week hopefully when everything arrives um hopefully everything will arrive by then i'll show you the bits and pieces that i picked up with the money that i got um because i did pick up some beauty bits so i'm sure that's something you'd want to see but yeah let's dive into the physical things that i've got here so i've got makeup from my husband which i'll show you at the end only because it's in the bottom of the pile and i'll show you the other bits and bobs that i've got nobody else really buys me makeup and i think it's mainly because they don't know what to get i have so much the only reason my husband buys me makeup is because i send him links to websites and he just clicks and pays so it's easy for him but yeah i got this from my mother in law and it's i don't know whether it's a scarf it is just a scarf i think because it's just like one sheet of material but it feels a bit more than a scarf if that makes sense it almost feels like a shawl but it is just straight if that makes sense but it is beautiful perfect for sort of throwing on when i'm feeling a bit cold when i'm working from home and things like that and it does feel like actual wool i'm pretty sure it is now i've got like fluff in my face oh it's from matalan does it say it doesn't say oh no 100% polyester Ugh. but yeah i just really like this it's a really gorgeous um array of colors mustards and grays are very in sorry i was just checking i feel like i've still got a fluff on my face but i don't think i have i can't see any but it feels like annoying i also got I think these are from my sister. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure at this point, but I think these are from my sister. Millions of socks. So there is like, I think there's eight pairs in here. And oh no, there's not. There's more. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. I don't know, there might be ten pairs in here. I think there is, I think there's ten pairs of socks. I am obsessed with socks. I love socks. I I have this thing where because I've got quite big feet compared to the sizing, so like those are like three to seven, my feet are six and a half. And even the four to eight, it's the same sort of thing because I'm a six and a half, seven. I'm at the top end of socks. So when they've been washed a few times, they get that little bit tight and that little bit snug and they get uncomfortable. So I love new socks because when I put them on, they fit perfect for like the first few wears and then they start shrinking and getting smaller. So yeah, whenever anyone buys me socks, I am over the moon. And I think I've got some more socks in here as well because people know that I love them. So I've got another five pairs here. Um, I think these were from my mother-in-law, um, but these are really cute. I really like those. Um, I also got a candle as well. How beautiful is this? It's so pretty. And it's supposed to be Ar Arctic, I can't speak. It's supposed to be Arctic forest scent. But to me, it smells like cinnamon. And that is really strange to me. I wonder if it's got the wrong label in it. Because it just says, Arctic Forest Scented Multi-Wick Candle. And that smells like um, gingerbread or gingerbread cookies which I'm not complaining about. It smells insane, but it does not smell like Arctic forest. But how beautiful is this? So beautiful. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And for now, it is living up there. It may stay up there. It may move because at the end of the day, when I'm sat like this, you can't see it from behind my head. So I might move it somewhere else, but for now, that's where it lives. Um, Next... I got a beautiful um, mug off my mum and it just says Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year and it's just so pretty because it's got a little um, snowflake stuck on it. I'm going to have to be really careful washing this just so that I don't lose that snowflake because it's so pretty. 
Um, saying that, we don't have a dishwasher anyway, so it's not going to get ruined in the dishwasher, but it's just going to have to be washed really, really gently. To be fair, Christmas is gone now, so I might save it till next Christmas and then wash it myself, <laughs> just to make sure. Um, I also got a colony Christmas cookie um, rediffuser. If you don't know the brand Colony, they are from the same umbrella company as Wax Lyrical. And I'm sure if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love Wax Lyrical. Um, I love, obviously, Col I can't say it, Colony equally because pretty much they are the same thing. So this is Christmas cookies, but it's ginger Christmas cookies. And I'm pretty sure I got the candle last year. Um, and this is obviously the reed diffuser and it just smells like basically gingerbread men and the picture on it looks like gingerbread men so yeah i do actually prefer a christmas cookie scent when it isn't like a vanilla -y christmas cookie when it is a sort of gingerbread i do love a good gingerbread scent so yeah really really pleased with that one as well I did receive quite a few bits of chocolate and things like that. Most of them haven't made it to this video. They've been eaten already. Um, but I have still got some more teasers. These ones survive, but probably only because they were buried in a bag where I put all my presents before, you know, to bring upstairs. Um, and I also have... Um, the Indulgent Bath Salts with Rose Petals by N Spa. These weigh an absolute ton. They are a kilogram. So like really, really weighty. I probably have some other bits and pieces scattered around as well. Um, just because, I don't know, I've got, I'm a scatterbrain. So I think I've definitely got another candle somewhere that I got. And other another few bits and pieces. I have got two Secret Santas as well. But for some reason, I didn't bring these those in here to film. And to be honest, this video is going to be long enough as it is. Um, so I probably won't show you those. Um, but this is my first present off my husband. And this I picked myself. So it's a palette vault. You get three of the mini ABH Norvenas in here. And they are all stunning. So we've got the yellow one, which is the volume two it's like this which is beautiful and if these formulas are anything like the formulas of the large Norvina palettes I have um I think I have one and two I have the purple one the one in the purple packaging and the one in the turquoise packaging so I think they're one and two um but yeah if the formula is anything like those um you know i'm gonna be buzzing these were like so inexpensive as well there was an offer on on beauty bay and they were reduced i just love the packaging on this one look at the iridescent sparkly um and cherries i couldn't think what cherries were called then and this has some gorgeous glitter shades in it i like that middle pink one the best i think this one here but yeah, beautiful. And then the final one is like this. So, so pretty. So pretty. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with these. I also chose um, for my husband to buy for me one of the um, benefits... Um, gift sets and the reason I chose this was because it contains four products three of them I use on a daily basis so this is kind of like more of a restock of my everyday products rather than a, an exciting present but you know that's kind of what you need sometimes so we've got a full-size roller lash We've got a mini of the Roller Lash um, pen. I mean, I've never tried this pen, this um, eyeliner pen, but 
you know it's worth a go I'm, I will use it definitely we've got a full size of the gimme brow and then we have a full size of the professional now I have tried this before and I'm not keen so I will be just um passing this one along but all the others you know it was a no-brainer I think it was like £37.50 and these two products I use all the time um between them they're like 44 45 pound and it was 37 pound 50 and i got this one as well and then obviously i got a full size professional so yeah it was definitely worth the money so i am pleased with that one and then the other two bits that i chose from my husband I've got this three pack of um, Mercy Handy um, hand sanitizers. It's kind of a bit like the way of the world at the moment, isn't it? When you're getting hand sanitizers for Christmas. But I chose this and this was like in the clearance for like three pounds. So I didn't think that was bad at all because Mercy Handy are a really quite expensive brand. And a pound a sanitizer is really, really cheap for you know this this brand so we've got blue stone i'm not sure what this one smells like to be fair oh it's nice it's almost a bit aftershavey that one i really like that we've got golden prison so pretty as well mm. That one's really sweet. It's more sort of like female perfumey, but it's really, really pretty. Pretty. It smells really good too. And then we've got Rose Quartz. Oh, that one's gorgeous. I wouldn't say it's overly floral, but it is a really, really nice scent. So yeah, three of those for three quid which isn't bad at all. I'm sure these are going to be strong enough, but I didn't actually check that. I'll have to look up the percentage. It doesn't actually say it on. I didn't think to check, to be honest. Um, but I'm sure they will, because they are a good brand and they have been around a long time, I'm sure they will be, um, you know, a high enough percentage. The final thing I got is something that's been on my wish list for a while um, because it's a cult favourite. And this is the Milani Blush in Luminoso. Um, I never picked this one up when there was all the hype going on um, and it is beautiful. It's a very, very stunning peach blush. Obviously, when you've got it on your face, it's not going to be that in your face because I've done that as a really thick swatch. I put two layers on as well just so that you can sort of see what it's like. So it's not going to look like that on your face. But yeah, that is beautiful. I've just sort of blended it out a little bit. Yeah, that is going to be gorgeous. So I'm really, really pleased with that as well. Then finally, I'm just going to show you my first ever present from a company. And I, I was blown away. No one told me it was coming. No one tipped me off. It literally came at my door and I was like, what is this big? parcel i was not expecting anything and oh my goodness look at this this is a giant glossy box <laughs> glossy box are the most amazing company to work with i mean at the end of the day they send me a box every month and in exchange i sh share it with you guys on my channel and give an honest review and to thank me for them sending me free stuff all year, they've sent me a Christmas present. I mean, yeah, I am absolutely blown away by this. It's so, so cute. So I'm going to show you what's inside. So first up, we have a glossy box stocking. Not only is it just a glossy box stocking, they took the time to put my name on the glossy box stocking like how cute is that this is going to be hung next year i didn't get around to it this year but next year i'm going to hang this on my backdrop because how cute is that i was over the moon with that 
We then have a candle. So this is a snowflake cookie Yankee candle. This has definitely got some spice to it as well. It's definitely one of the sweeter um, candles, but it definitely has some spice in it as well, which I do prefer when there's a bit of spice in there. So that is Snowflake Cookie, and it just fits in with Glossy Box because it's pink, and also with my aesthetic as well, which is pink. Um, so we had that. We had a luxury hot chocolate which I am going to enjoy devouring um, it says it's rich, silky and smooth so I am going to really enjoy giving that one a try we also ooh, we also got a cookie um, little glossy box cookie which is super cute. It says on it that it sh I should have ate it within four days. And I haven't ate it yet. But it doesn't look mouldy. So I'm sure it'll still be fine. I will enjoy that. Probably it, like after I've finished filming this. Just to make sure that it doesn't go off. And then the final one again is a gorgeous um, personalised present. So it's a bauble. With my name on it. It's made out of clay. And it's got a pink string, which again matches the glossy bo box. I can't even say it aesthetic, but it also matches my filming room aesthetic. So yeah, next year I have got a mini tree, but I didn't put it up this year. Next year I'm gonna have mini tree here. I'm gonna have my glossy box bauble with my name on, and yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. They didn't have to send me anything and they also sent me a card again with my name on addressed to me inside handwritten saying thank you so much and all um so yeah i was over the moon when this arrived because i did not know it was coming um and i'm gonna use this box for storage because who doesn't need a big pink box for storage when their room is pink i mean it's just perfect isn't it so we're gonna start storing things in this as well so it's kind of got lots of different purposes so i'll just pop that back there for now um i will find a home for it but that's going to be perfect for storage in this room um i need some extra storage in this room and that is such a lovely big box i am buzzing but yeah, um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If there's any items here, any makeup items that you're dying for me to try out, let me know down in the description. And I always say that, it's not a description, it's the comment section. <laughs> so let me know in the comments section if there's any sort of products that you want me to try out first. I mean, to be honest, there's not that much to choose from, is there? We've got a blusher and some palettes if there's any particular one of these palettes that you'd like me to look at first let me know and for now thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this video if you did give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i hope to see you in a video again soon bye <laughs>